Hello, and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, right now, we are at the first annual Ohio Family Rally. Is that correct, Beck? Yep. Okay. Yeah, um, th they had 14 rigs uh, first year. We had a very good time. And uh, I assume they're going to do it again next year, and we're going to sign up as soon as they uh, post it. Okay, now, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, we're doing our third annual mods and upgrade video. Um, I thought I'd be done after the first two, but apparently not. And you never know, there might be another one uh, next fall. Okay, first thing I want to point out that we did, we put a solar light up above the door. It's adhesive, motion sensor, and it's not super bright where we're lighting up the whole area. It pretty much just does right here, and that's, that's what I want. Um, someday I may run a wire to that. Um, I've looked at it. I'm tempted to do it, but uh, Becky can't be around when I do it. Okay, so next thing we did, we added another screen defender up on top here. Uh, we have a grab bar, and I'm worried with our nails hitting the screen, it's going to rip it, and also the cat jumping up here. I wish um, they would make one for here also, which would be real nice. I could put a piece of plexiglass in there. Okay, next thing we did, we had installed at the National Rally, uh, the four steps with lift assist. I'll tell you what, it was worth every penny of it. And then um, I just put on the step treads, which so far I am really liking these things. Now they do hold water a little bit more than what the steps do. It seems like the steps, the water dissipates a little bit better. But all you have to do, you just wipe them down real quick with a rag and then throw your steps in, you're good to go. Okay, now moving around to the pass-through. We didn't do too much here. Um, as you know, I spent a lot of time in there, so there's not re really not that much more we can do. And of course, our plastic, plastic, I repeat, plastic, cracks. So I just added this step uh, tread, and it seems to be working pretty good. I don't have a problem with it. Okay, um, next thing I did was adding solar. This has been going on for quite a while. I have it pretty much where I want it. Um, we do have the Victron uh, Multi Plus 2, a Lynx distributor, and I have one MPPT controller for the four 200 watt panels on the roof. I have another one up here that I'm gonna add four more 200. And I have four 200 amp hour chin batteries. Um, we tried it out a few times, it works pretty good. I am extremely happy with it. Okay, another thing we did is I added the uh, JT strong arms. Um, I had the ball on here and I just had the front. They worked perfectly fine, there was nothing wrong with them, but I got an excellent deal on these. So I have them in the front and I have on both sides going from the jack back. Now I have two more to mount on the back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna mount them. I usually put the Volterra rear stabilizer on and that works pretty good. So I'll. I'll see if I'll put the other ones on. If not, I have backups just in case something happens or maybe I'll give them away to somebody. All right. Okay, next thing I did, we kept getting birds inside the uh, kingpin. So I put the screen on. This one moved. I got to secure it in a little bit better. But let's go to the back. I'll show you what I did there. Yep, added that in. No more birds getting inside. Okay, the other thing we did, we added a uh, filter system. And that is by Beach Lane. I actually did a review on this. They sent this to me. Um, it's working pretty good. I have, no, I have no complaints at all with it. So let's move on to the next one. All right, I got to cut in here. Uh, I'm laying in bed this morning, and I forgot one of our best uh, upgrades we did. And that is the vent for the microwave. With this combined with a new microwave that doesn't sound like a jet engine taking off, you can barely hear the fan. All right, so let's get back to normal broadcasting. Okay, um, our uh, sore hose holder is back underneath here. So I added a second one, and it's in the back here. This is my primary. The other one's my secondary. And another thing is, um, when we went to the National Rally last year, we had to run to Walmart to get more hose because the uh, hookup was so far away. So now I have enough. I think I have uh, 50 feet here. So if I can't get it 50 feet, there's something wrong. Okay, next one. 
Okay, another thing I did isn't more, it's not a mod or an upgrade, but uh, I added straps to the fresh water tank, and then we went to Alliance and they reinforced the uh, bracket that's under there. But I put the straps back on, it's, it's not gonna hurt. Uh, another thing we did, we upgra upgraded our tires to Carlisle's. Uh, so far, we're loving them. And the other thing we did, we upgraded to the TST 770 TPMS. Uh, I am really liking that thing. That is well worth the money spent. All right, so I think that's it for outside. Let's head on in. Okay, so to go along with the solar, I added the Victron BMV 712 Smart Shot. I'm really liking that. I can look and see what it is, how much uh, time's remaining on my batteries. Pretty good. Okay, the other thing we added is the Mopika. And I got the remote sensor in the package. This one should come up empty. Yep, empty. There's a little bit left in there, not much. Okay, another thing we added was uh, we had the RD7. Um, it's a Halo View camera system I really liked. But uh, Halo View sent me the BT6. I like it a lot more. I'm not too crazy about the night vision, but I'm really liking it. It's touchscreen all around. It's a lot better except for the night vision. And I also added a uh, camera on the front cap. Uh, the sun's right there, so we won't be able to get a shot of it. Maybe I'll take a picture and put it in a video. And with that, we got the two side marker cameras. Now I keep the monitor in here. I can see what's going on around the camera around the camper so hit the button there's the back of the camera I can do the sides and that's the party side so yeah I really liking this system okay another thing we did here was I added this uh, 12 volt power panel it has a battery monitor so and this this never matches what the uh, Victron says this is always lower and then you have a cigarette lighter port and you have some USB ports and there's also an on and off button. Okay, I added the Dirt Devil and Becky loves it. I like it. The one thing we don't like, and she didn't know she didn't like it until I did, did this. But in order for it to work, you have to lift this up and then the vacuum comes on. So if you're moving stuff around or something, you got to come over, pull your hose out close this it'll shut off so what I did was I added a switch um, she really loves the switch <laughs> huh yes okay all right let's move on okay next thing we did I have a lot of hats um, there are quite a few Alliance hats but uh, I just got these little adhesive clips and they work pretty good I've never had a hat fall off during transit so I'm sold Okay, I'm not sure if this was in the uh, last video, but um, originally I turned the original table on the original brackets. We didn't like that. So we went with a freestanding and I also put in a uh, power port. So there's one 10 plus two USB outlets there. As you can see, somebody's really, really curious of the uh, upgrades we're doing. Okay, so the next one was, I had an additional shelf up here for Becky. So uh, she, she's liking it. She doesn't have, I thought she'd have it jam packed by now, but no, nah, I'm quite surprised. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here in the kitchen, this cabinet door would never stay up. Like, so when you were looking for something, you would hang on to it with one hand, get in there. So we did put the strut in, so that stays up. And it's a soft close strut. We have the new microwave, which is a convection microwave that was we got from Contour. I like it. I'm still learning the convection, but I do like it. My new stove, which is my favorite upgrade. So I've got the four burner, the big oven. I love that, just made a stromboli in there today oh and there's coley peeking in on our mods i think he's curious about the stove he does like that stove you think maybe we'll see Ab floating around here somewhere hmm i don't know i don't know keep an eye out 
Okay, and the refrigerator. We have the had the gas absorption two-way refrigerator, which I did not like. Um, it worked, it didn't work, it was very unpredictable. So when we were at the national rally, we went to JC Refrigeration and got the 12 volt conversion, which I love. I don't worry about that refrigerator. It's jam packed, it's still keeping everything cool. And we have the temperature monitor for the freezer and the refrigerator mounted here. So at a glance, you can just tell your temperatures. Okay, and then we have lights under the sink. So when you open the door, the lights come on. And when Rich redid the cabinets in the drawers and the countertop for the new stove, we added lights in the cabinets beside the stove. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's the same. Okay, and in the pantry, Rich added, I can't even tell which one's the added shelf. Oh, yes, you can. There's this one? <laughs> Is that it? So we added a bread shelf, yep. which I like. So it gives you, you know, just a little shelf to put your bread in. And then the bottom one. this shelf yeah. is new because you didn't need all that room down there. No. And that gave us an extra shelf. Okay, the next one is thanks to John Tire from Tires on the Road. Um, one, he had eight lights in his ceiling. And when he did his video, I looked at my ceiling and I'm like, I only have six. I have three on each side. But what he did was he, set, he isolated three lights on here, on this side here, uh, to go off a different switch. And then at first I wasn't going to do it. And then I started thinking about it, um, boondocking, power usage. I know they don't pull a lot of power. So I decided to go ahead and do it. So what I did was I added a switch over here with a dimmer, of course. I originally did these three, and then we went camping. And I'm like, you know what? We really don't need that third one. So I unhooked it, hooked it up to the other switch. And we got company coming in. And so right now, all we have are these two. And it is plenty of light here. And it's nice. When I'm sitting over here and she's cooking, I don't have all the lights on in here. It's just right here where you need them. So thanks, John Tire. Okay, uh, two things. I can't remember if these were in the last video, but I'm going to mention them anyway. Uh, we were going black with all of our um, faucets and uh, hardware. So we added the, don't mind, the, we're camping. So uh, we added a black shower. And I don't think we mentioned this either. We went with a black radius shower curtain rod. And then we went with a black faucet for the sink. I'm still, I still want to do this. Maybe this winter I'll get the sink done. Okay, there's uh, not too much that we've done in here. Uh, one, I added plastic holders on each side of the bed. You put your glasses or phone in. The cat's not liking that camera for nothing. Okay, the other thing I did was I added a light underneath so you can see. When you lift it up, I have a little uh, magnetic switch here. So when you lift the, be the bed up, the light automatically comes on. Okay, the last thing I can think of um, that I have on my list anyway is we just installed the uh, Cool RV. Um, if you don't know what that is, I will put a link in the description. Um, so far, it's working pretty good. Um, we've had cold nights here, so we really haven't been able to use it that much. Uh, probably won't happen until um, next year, so once we uh, get into some warmer nights. But so far, my testing and everything it's uh, working pretty good. Okay, so hopefully uh, this gives you some ideas. Either that or you're thinking I have way too much time on my hands. But uh, I like to keep moving. I don't like to sit still too often. So uh, I will put um, as many links as I can for all the products that we, we got um, into the description. Okay, so I hope you like this video. And uh, once again, thanks for checking it out. And we'll see you all next time.
Bye. Bye. We're a little off key on that one. <laughs>